today, August 6th, 12 years ago, is a day when Joey's life changed forever. It's his alive day, the anniversary of the day a service member came close to losing their life. On this day in 2010, while deployed in Afghanistan, Joey lost both of his legs after stepping on an IED. His fellow service members honor him in a Fox Nation special called Alive Day. Johnny Joey Jones. I was just kneeling next to him in the dirt. Uh, next to his stretcher, and I just had, you know, kind of hand on him, and I was just talking to him. So he just said, sir, I'm so sorry I let you down, which, which at the time was, was kind of stunning. And, uh, you know, you just wasn't something I expected, and, you know, it just speaks to, you know, the heart and the character of, of a Marine like Sergeant Jones. I mean, that at a time when he's not even sure that he's going to make it through the helicopter ride, all his thoughts are with the rest of us, and the fact that he's not going to be there anymore to help us you wonder sometimes you know, just where where will we find uh, men like that. And I know I speak for so many out there right now when I say that we are so incredibly grateful that you are here. Um, I imagine this is a, a strange way to take the day. Um, and I know that you <laughs> want to honor um, your fellow Marines. Yeah, you know, military tradition is steeped and we do things today the way we did as far back as we can remember because it worked. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, when we talk about politics. That's one of the things that we worry about. Uh, but when we talk about young men and women willing to lay their life down for their country, there's a lot of them. Uh, we just have to provide that opportunity. I was honored to go to war uh, with those men and women twice, Iraq and Afghanistan. And when I was injured on August 6, 2010, Daniel Greer, a corporal, uh, rank under me, uh, was there helping me as a Marine combat engineer. And just tell you just a little bit of his story real quick because, you know, I'm the guy on TV. It's easy to draw attention to myself about my live day. And then I kind of play a slide of hand and tell you about who the real hero is. And so Daniel Greer was a full-time fireman in East Tennessee. Mm. He had a baby, brand new baby boy, brand new wife. All right. He did not feel it appropriate as a military aged man to not be in the military fighting this war. So he joined the Marine Corps Reserves, begged to go on deployment, begged to get into a unit to go on deployment, got to Afghanistan, and then begged to come on the operation that I was on uh, that was what we call kinetic to do his job and do it at the highest level. And when I stepped on an IED, it took my legs, it took his life. Mm. And I tell that story because in every step of Daniel's life, he served. He was most proud to be a husband and a father. He was proud to be a fireman, and he was proud to be a Marine and a combat engineer. And he really didn't have a lot of arrogance or, or self-importance. He just felt it was his duty. It's what he was supposed to do. Mm -hmm. Daniel died protecting me that day. And uh, I have to believe I'm sitting here learning how to talk for a living because he's still doing it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, it, it, you're so incredibly generous, Joey, and incredibly modest as well. Uh, and, and we do also want to hear from Brigadier General Ben Watson mm -hmm. on Joey right after that IED explosion. It's been amazing to watch uh, what he's done uh, from his injuries. Uh, he's been an inspiration not only to me, but to, to so many others that are trying to recover. Johnny, he's really a model, uh, example of just resilience. When you know, have a bad, bad moment or a bad day, you think about just how much worse your life could be. And, and you know, if you can't handle the little things you know, with your head up and, and a positive attitude, I tell myself, you know, you gotta be ashamed Folks like, uh, like Johnny Jones have, have pushed through such incredible adversity and, and made such a success out of their lives and helped so many other veterans. Well, I just feel we're, we're, le we're fortunate to be sitting here with Joey. Oh, yeah. well, we're so grateful, Joey, that you're here. We're all, I mean, we're grateful to obviously have you as part of the Fox family, but thank you for serving this country. I mean, we say this to you and, and every person out there who served. But your attitude, I think anybody that, that's around you, really, you feel what a positive attitude you have. Have you mm -hmm. always had that? Because I feel like sometimes people's attitudes really determine their outcome. And, and I mean, you've done amazing things. You know, I was never really all that athletic, but I love sports. So if you can be on a football team that wins three games in a season and be happy to do it, you can be happy about anything. Mm -hmm. um, and and there, I don't, I did kind of zoned out for that intro because it's tough to hear some of those things said mm -hmm. about me that uh, kind of gets me emotional. But there's a clip in there where they interviewed me two or three days after I kind of came to and Walter Reed, and I said, uh, I didn't lose my legs. I was given a second chance at life. Mm. Wow. And so I guess I like to believe I was always that way. I, I know I felt that way a few days after getting blown up. I don't 
remember if I was as positive before, but I, I've always been a pretty happy guy because I, I could see the blessings around me. Yeah. Uh, it, it, we win the lottery when we're born in this country, and if you're like me, you win it twice when you get mm. born below the Mason-Dixon line. Yeah. You grow up in the hands-on <laughs> lifestyle down there in the South. So yeah. every day I wake up in Georgia, I'm just so happy to be there and, and just so fortunate that I still get to be there. Listen, if I represent anything, it's not any of my actions or accomplishments. It's mm. a class of young men and women who raise their right hand and, and join the military. And, uh, man, I couldn't be prouder of them. Uh, Joey, when I, my father's a Marine, so when I hear you, when I look at you, I, I, I see shades of, of <laughs> that, the humility and the, the sense of unified purpose, both in battle and in life. And uh, that's something I think the military, particularly the Marines, give men. And, and it's why part of me thinks we all should serve for even a, a limited time. But I know that's a controversial <laughs> topic. I won't drag you into it, though I'd love to. Um, my question is, how has this changed you? I know this recovery could not have been easy. And I was thinking as I watched these pieces, I can't imagine going through this recovery process that you went through. Right. And, and not being pessimistic, nasty, and resentful. I'll tell you what I did. I, every time they would bring lunch in, I'd kick everybody out of my room. And I would, uh, as I ate my lunch, I might cry, I might cuss, I might mm -hmm. yell at God and the devil both. I might, you know, I, I would get all that pent up anger or emotion out. And then at, at about 30 minutes, 20 minutes, I'd let everybody back in, I'd have a smile again, because it was my responsibility to make them okay with what happened to me. Those are the people I love. Mm -hmm. My dad taught me at a young age, and he was never a Marine, but he was born to be one. Your, your job as a man in the house is to provide and protect. Mm -hmm. Then everything after that's icing on the cake. Right. And you do that with love. And so it was my job to make sure that those people that loved me and that were so scared to death of what had happened to me and if I was going to be okay, it was my job to put a smile on my face and make sure they were okay. Mm -hmm. and, and I tell that not to tell you that I'm awesome. I tell that because that I rep I'm one of thousands. There are thousands of young men and women who at the age of 18, 20, 22 had half their body blown away and are out there doing amazing things. All we ever hear, and I'm a part of it because I'm on the board of a nonprofit that tries to help boot campaign, but all we ever hear are the negative stories because if we go out and do well, there's not a lot of attention on that. Yeah. And, and these men and women do. They overcome the, the worst of adversity and, uh, and tackle life. What does it teach me? It taught me perspective and gratitude. Mm. And, and Joey, um, almost everything you say, anyone who listens to you, almost everything you say, there is a lesson in there. Um, regardless of we're talking about Congress, we're talking about politics, we're talking about crime. You bring a lesson to us all, and for that, we are also grateful. Honor. And yes, you honor. You bring us honor. You bring us honor. And you can watch Joey Jones a live day anytime on Fox Nation. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.